Pluto is a far-off and baffling dwarf planet that was once an individual member of our planetary system's family. However, recent surprising declarations by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and MIT's Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a stunning disclosure. They propose that this cold world is on a potential crash course with Neptune. But how might this happen, and what might be the results of such a massive event? Are we seeing an unusual cosmic phenomenon? Or is there something more to this looming celestial crash? Join us as we explore the potential outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune impact. Pluto, a former planet that was downgraded to a dwarf planet, in part because of its peculiar orbit, remains a subject of interest and study in the galactic community. According to recent predictions by leading researchers, Pluto's orbit is perilously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both raising the alarm about a potential dangerous collision between these two planets, which could pose a significant risk to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planet in our solar system. It takes a staggering 248 years to complete a single orbit, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even finished one full revolution. Yet, the interest doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its highly elliptical shape, straying significantly from the near-circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more curious is its inclination, calculated at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. The path Pluto follows is much more extreme compared to other planets. This inclination and eccentricity add layers of complexity to its orbital pattern. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's path. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually draws closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect based on their positions in the solar system. This leads to the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers tried to figure out its unusual path. Unlike the other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stood out with its steep inclination and elongated shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit actually crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit, amid these complexities, is evidence of the intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem in space is about figuring out how three objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun move and influence each other with their gravity. It's like trying to predict where they will go based on where they start and how they pull on one another. In Pluto's case, this issue shows how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together in a complicated way. The terms alpha libration and scope libration along with the VZK oscillation are part of this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is a phenomenon called alpha libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is located no less than 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from intersecting. Scope libration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or any other giant planet, it is arranged entirely above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection from potential collisions. Another significant factor in this scenario is the VZK oscillation, named after three researchers, Bon Zippel, Leo, and Kai, who studied how things move in space. It's about how three space objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, pull on one another with their gravity. This gravitational pull influences how they move. In Pluto's case, VZK helps us understand why its orbit around the Sun is so unusual. Despite its seemingly erratic path, this oscillation helps keep it moving smoothly for billions of years. The VZK oscillation shows that, even if things in space seem chaotic and random, some patterns and rules keep everything in order. These factors help maintain Pluto's orbit, ensuring it doesn't collide with Neptune or get thrown off course. This three-body problem is essential for understanding how these orbits change because of the way these space objects pull on each other. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and distant worlds and stars. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite these stable properties,
Pluto's orbit is actually chaotic, with minor deviations in initial conditions leading to significant differences over millions of years. However, these unique properties of Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over very long timescales, effectively keeping the chaos under control. Recent computer models have helped us understand how the giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune has a special relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto makes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This connection helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. But Neptune isn't the only factor. Jupiter's gravity also plays a huge role in safeguarding Pluto's orbit, and Saturn contributes as well. These tests show that Jupiter's gravity alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable path for a truly extended period of time, potentially billions of years. So, it's as though Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to make sure Pluto continues to move safely in space without running into trouble. These phenomena are essential in the context of the universe for maintaining order and consistency in the movement of celestial bodies. Without these mechanisms, the solar system as we know it would be a place of much greater chaos and unpredictability. Bodies like Pluto might collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, leading to a domino effect on other celestial objects. For Pluto, particularly in the discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This gives us a clearer picture of the solar system's dynamic nature. The case of Pluto illustrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of harmony through the complex interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the importance of ongoing observation and investigation of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often leads us to confront the strange nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit is a great example of this oddness. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is distinctly illustrated in the case of Pluto. This means that even slight changes in the dwarf planet's position or speed can dramatically shift its long-term course. In the vast expanse of our solar system, Pluto occupies a unique place that challenges how we understand planetary classification and dynamics. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has undergone extensive study, leading to significant revelations about its composition and behavior. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto is its surface, which is a complex tapestry of ice, rock, and other compounds. The New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto in July 2015, provided exceptional data about this distant world. The surface of Pluto is characterized by vast plains, towering mountains, and deep valleys. One of the most striking features is Sputnik Planitia, a massive heart-shaped plane primarily composed of nitrogen ice. This region showcases a diverse array of geological features, including large ice blocks and what appear to be flowing glaciers. The presence of these features suggests that Pluto may still be geologically active, despite its great distance from the sun and low temperatures. Another fascinating aspect of Pluto is its atmosphere, primarily composed of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. Pluto's atmosphere is thin, but it displays intriguing seasonal variations. As Pluto approaches the sun in its elongated orbit, its atmosphere can expand and contract. This dynamic behavior is a reflection of the complex relationship between Pluto and its environment. During its closest approach to the Sun, some of the atmospheric gases may freeze out onto the surface, while as it moves farther away, these gases can sublimate back into the air. The interaction between Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, also adds complexity to the system. Charon is relatively large compared to Pluto, with a diameter about half that of Pluto itself. This size ratio means that both bodies are in mutual orbit around a point in space that lies between them, rather than Pluto simply orbiting Charon. This unique relationship contributes to the gravitational dynamics in the region, affecting the orbits of other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune populated by small icy bodies, is home to many other dwarf planets and potential impactors. This belt is a repository of ancient material from the early solar system, offering researchers a glimpse into its formation. 
Pluto's orbital characteristics may offer insights into the migration patterns of these distant objects, suggesting that interactions with larger planets may have played a key role in shaping their current orbits. One of the key implications of understanding Pluto's orbital elements is the potential impact on our understanding of the solar system's evolution. The gravitational influences from nearby giant planets like Jupiter and Neptune can alter the trajectories of smaller bodies, including those in the Kuiper Belt. Such interactions can lead to shifts in orbits, potentially causing collisions or ejections from the solar system. As researchers continue to explore the details of these interactions, they may uncover broader patterns that govern the behavior of celestial bodies throughout the cosmos. The study of Pluto also raises philosophical questions about order in cosmology. The decision to rename Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 was controversial, sparking debates about what defines a planet. The global astronomical community's definition focused on criteria like orbital dominance and size, leaving many to consider the implications of such classifications. This ongoing discourse reflects our evolving understanding of the universe and underscores the need for a flexible approach to categorizing celestial bodies. Furthermore, the potential for future exploration of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt remains an exciting frontier. With advances in technology and mission planning, scientists envision sending additional spacecraft to study not only Pluto but also other distant objects that share its orbital characteristics. Such missions could provide valuable data about the primitive materials that formed our solar system, potentially offering clues about the origins of life on Earth. The role of exoplanets or planets beyond our solar system is another fascinating area of study that intersects with our understanding of Pluto. As astronomers discover an increasing number of exoplanets, particularly in the habitable zones of their stars, the patterns learned from studying our own solar system can inform theories about planetary formation and habitability. The conditions that allow for stable orbits, atmospheric retention, and geological activity could provide insights into the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. Finally, public interest in Pluto has endured, fueled by its enigmatic status and the stunning images sent back by the New Horizons mission. The dwarf planet has captured the imagination of people worldwide inspiring a renewed appreciation for the vastness of space and our place within it. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of Pluto and the celestial bodies that share its corner of the cosmos, we are reminded of the grand wonders that the universe has to offer. Does Pluto's unique qualities extend beyond its physical properties and orbit? It also serves as a crucial case study for understanding planetary formation and the dynamics of celestial bodies. Pluto's evolution is believed to have occurred in the early solar system, alongside other Kuiper Belt objects. Studying its composition can shed light on the conditions that prevailed during the solar system's infancy, potentially illuminating theories about the formation of Earth-like planets. Recent research suggests that Pluto may have a subsurface ocean, a discovery that could alter our understanding of its geology and its potential to support life. Data from the New Horizons mission revealed that some regions of Pluto's surface, such as the icy mountains, may be composed of water ice, which behaves differently from ordinary rock at low temperatures. This discovery invites further investigation into the possibility of liquid water existing beneath its icy crust, raising intriguing questions about the potential for life, even in such extreme conditions. Additionally, Pluto's relationship with its environment can provide insights into atmospheric science. The seasonal changes in its thin atmosphere offer a natural laboratory for studying atmospheric processes on a planetary scale. Scientists are particularly interested in how the interaction between solar radiation and the surface can lead to complex weather patterns similar to those observed on larger planets. The importance of continued surveillance of Pluto and other similar celestial bodies cannot be overstated. As more missions are planned, such as those targeting the outer reaches of the Kuiper Belt, we can expect an abundance of new data that challenges existing theories and expands our understanding of planetary science. Each discovery adds another piece to the puzzle of our solar system's history and the processes that govern its evolution. Through these investigations, Pluto remains a symbol of the unending quest for knowledge about our universe inviting both scientists and enthusiasts alike to contemplate the mysteries that lie beyond our terrestrial domain.